The tsunami of March 2011 that disaster modified Japan destroyed many fields. Some of these fields included its inhabitants, the environment, health conditions, and on a larger scale, the world. Specifically, the tsunami caused the nuclear power plant in Fukushima, Japan to leave a scar that would not only affect the area and its surrounding parts, but also the world. Overall, the meltdown has drastically changed the environment, people, health, and possibly the future. Many people have been affected by this disaster, being forced to migrate to temporary shelters. In an NBC News report titled, One Japanese Family Separated by the Fukushima Crisis, a Japanese family has been reportedly split up as a result of the Fukushima incident. This woman, with the name Junko Ogawa, describes her situation in her own words. Jobs have also been greatly affected by the nuclear meltdown. The type of job mostly affected regards farming and agriculture. According to Japan Nuclear Crisis Erodes Farmers' Livelihoods by Michael Wines, Japan has placed a ban preventing local produce to be sold from Fukushima. This ban has been strictly enforced. A farmer featured in the article named Mr. Saichi Saito will most likely have a fifth of his income drip away because of this ban. To add to the panic, rumors have circulated about the produce, making the situation worse. Though this ban does mean bad news for the farmers, safety is always a number one priority. The environment is also being impacted by this disaster. The simple components of the earth, such as the oceans and the atmosphere, are being modified. First, the radiation byproducts have made their way to the United States. In Devin Powell's article titled, Japan Nuke Accident Seen in Seattle, he notes that the radiation has traveled in the form of contaminated steam. Deeper into this article, he mentions that a physicist has built a detector originally designed to spot neutrinos coming from outer space, which is capable of discovering gamma rays. Finally, Powell indicates that the nuclear reactors at Fukushima have released these radioactive isotopes. Health has also been watched carefully after the tsunami. In the NBC News video, radioactive tuna found off coast of California. Bluefish tuna that had been obtained in California had been reported to be slightly contaminated with radioactive material. Fortunately, the radiation amount is small, but higher than normal. Meanwhile, back in Japan, local beef has been tainted with radiation as well. This is explained in Hiroko Tabushi's article, Radiation Tainted Beef Spreads Through Japan's Markets. Tabushi reports that due to the announcement, consumers are panicking and inquiring the government on why they allowed such things to happen. He also reports that other natural goods are being contaminated as well. Finally, he says that tests and inspections are being conducted so that this problem is alleviated. Focusing on the health of the economics, the Fukushima meltdown may make major and minor impacts on the specific field. Recently, the Olympics Committee announced that the 2020 Summer Olympics would be held in Tokyo, Japan. However, as you can see on this map, Tokyo is just south of Fukushima. This forces the critical question, will Japan observe a decline in tourism? Tokyo was placed as a candidate for the f selection of the 2020 location of the Summer Olympic Games. Inside the Build Green article, 2020 Olympics Nuclear Shadow, the author indicates that the densely populated city had to assure them that the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, 240 kilometers away from Tokyo, posed no risk to visitors or athletes. The author explained this by saying that the city itself conducted tests to be used as evidence for this. So overall, visitors and future visitors should be not alarmed by the radiation. Unfortunately, I do think these results from the tests may change in the years to come. The nuclear meltdown has placed different impacts on other countries. In William Tucker's article, Nuclear Since Fukushima, 
He explains what these countries are doing after this catastrophe. First, he explains how in Japan, people are forming anti-nuclear movements. Second, he explains that in Germany, they are trying to switch rapidly to renewable energy, which has been unsuccessful. Third, he explains that China still actively uses nuclear energy, despite the crisis. Finally, Tucker says that South Korea uses it as well, and enjoys the use of it so much, they feature a National Nuclear Day to introduce school children to the technology. Though the future may not seem bright for the radiation-polluted area of Fukushima, all is not lost. Other regions in the world are now taking better steps so that if a disaster wreaks havoc in an area that has a nuclear plant, the damage can be small and less severe. In Frank von Hippel's article, Nuclear Lessons for America from Fukushima, China, and France, he tells the reader that France and Germany are utilizing specific filters that are part of a vent system that contain the gases released from overheated fuel. Then, he mentions that these filter vents are then attached to buildings around reactors. If there were to be a catastrophic emergency, von Hippel deduces that the pressure inside these containment buildings increased dangerously. The author states that this was the case at Fukushima. Finally, the vent system would weaken the intensity of the radioactivity and would escape. Apparently, the author states that old power reactors, which are widely used, rely on pumps to keep them online, which is not good. Also, Von Hippel says that the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, a branch of the U.S. Department of Energy, does not ask for filters to be a must-have for plants. This suggests that existing nuclear power plants in the world should update their reactors, strengthen their safety principles, and always have a plan B. These ideas could alleviate a nuclear disaster. As you can see, the Fukushima incident has placed wounds on people, health, the environment, and possibly the tourism of Japan. It has especially hurt the local people of Fukushima. It has caused many after effects to people such as poverty and separation. Time will heal some of the wounds of this catastrophe, and we will all learn to make a better world, a better future, and a better tomorrow.